Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing my worst, best game of all time. I played like crap, but I had good ideas that were just stoppable until I finally checkmated at the end. My opponent actually had two brilliant moves this game. Okay, I'm going to walk you through the game now. So, started off with the Petrov. I put the Eris off Gambit, and I took. Okay, usually, I've been trying to play the Stafford Gambit recently because it works a lot at my level. And then, when they play the Eris off Gambit, usually get afraid of this because of this to take. But I have, but I finally realized this game. So when I drop back, I actually hit the bishop too. So, but, you know, anyways, so this is how the game continues, I drop the bishop back, and I just develop a castle, try and get my knight to a different square so I can push my d-pawn, develop my white squared bishop, I develop my dark squared bishop, but it wasn't a good move, but they missed it because I did hang a pawn here due to fading. It was just, and I'm also in check. But anyways, I make a blunder here, and that's their first brilliant sack in their night. And what's funny is I was well, what the heck did I just do? Is I was actually. Like, I was on a really good streak, and I was locked in, and I was like, oh my god. Like, pretty much right after I made that move, like, they thought a while on it, as you can see. 28 seconds. The top is the time right here. And I was like, oh my god, you can do that, because I can't take with the pawn. And then, I can't also, I can't take the bishop due to this. Discover check hitting the queen. So I took with the knight. And then they sacrifice the rook. I'm not gonna yell the rook. So I'm gonna suck at it. Hitting both pieces. And it's either I'm down, just down a piece. Or I can have a rook and a bishop for a queen. Which is what I opted to do. And I also can't castle now. And now I had a plan. Initially, this was my plan. Sacrifice the bishop. They take. And I'll pick up the queen. I realized this was impossible because if I go here, they can just take. I can't go to g8 because it's. Or sorry, g7 because there's a pawn. So that didn't happen. And I realized, oh, that pawn's hanging, isn't it? So I moved it. They did nothing. They attacked my knight. Well, I play this move. Reason being, is if they take this pawn, I want to go for this move again. But this time, if you take, I'm going here. Hitting the queen with the check. They do take I play it. And I'm getting really excited because I'm like, oh my god, they're gonna take. They're gonna take it. Oh my god. It didn't happen. And I was sad. And then I had to move my knight out of the way. I can be sitting there pouting. Hitting the queen. They just didn't take the pawn. And then I pushed my pawn. Setting up this. But this would be blockable. Until they move their knight hitting my bishop. And I can pin. I'm like, okay, okay. They take. I play this move. Warning. 
sack the rock for the night. One takes, bishop takes, nurse. Bishop takes, mate. This happens. But I overlooked one thing. Checkmate on F8. They miss it. All they had to go was diagonally. I'm forced. I can't take the rook here. Do the mate. They play check. Hitting, protecting this square. And after the whacking, they take. And I'm rattled. I move my bishop out of the way though. Still protecting the chief one square. King ain't safe yet. And then. They make a huge mistake. Mate and seven on the board. They blunder. Bishop takes e4. I do it. They have to block. Checkmate. Pretty much, like, pretty much down a rope and a pawn. Or, sorry. Oh my god, what am I down here? Down a queen for a bishop. Because I'm not counting that rook. What's the queen doing? Chill on h4 doing nothing. What's that bishop doing? Checkmating the king. I played horribly. I had the ideas. They just always had something to stop it. I didn't mind. Calculating wasn't the best. But in the end, we got it done. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.